In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create title slide or intro slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created this background design with different color combination and I have added an image in the center of the business people and at the bottom you can add the annual report or any title you want and if you have additional text also can be added here and in the background I have given some pattern fill if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University please do it now subscribe as well as enable the bell notification and like as well as share and if you like to support my channel you can donate through PayPal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size you can see here shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to zoom out the slide so that i'm going to cut some of the areas from the top and the bottom for that go to insert shapes and I'm going to select an oval shape draw the oval shape you can see here something like this let me just go to format shape fill make it transparent you can see here shape outline make it no outline and you can give different color also so we know exactly how much area we are going to cut it so if you want you want to just cut something like this you can see here you can do something like this this is from one end and from the top I'm going to just duplicate this and I'm going to cut this area you can see here so whatever the blue which is visible that only I'm going to keep and the rest I'm going to delete it so you can see here the area which is blue I'm going to keep that uh, area only and the rest I'm going to delete and again if you want to adjust it properly you can see here if you want to give a less space here you can just move it and this also I can just reduce it so that I can give us space a little bit here and this side also I'm going to make it something like this so whichever way possible you can do it and then hold the shift key sorry first select this shape hold the shift key select the oval shape at the bottom go to format merge shape subtract and then I'm going to hold the shift key again select the oval on the top merge shape and subtract so you end up getting a shape something like this you can see here now you can add more shapes here for that go to insert shapes I'm going to select the right triangle draw a right triangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color I'm giving orange again just rotate it you can see here rotate you can just do maybe flip vertical and increase the size something like this and send this to back and if you want to give some curve shape right mouse click edit point you can see here just give some curved here so it looks something like this if you want to increase the size you can increase it like this and if you want to add the other side also you can simply select this ctrl d copy and again go to rotate and you can just rotate this you can see here let me just put it and i'm just going to rotate it something like this which is flip vertical increase the size and then send this to back and if you want to do again some more curve you can just give something like this so you can see here this one is added and then i'm going to select this and i'm going to give some different color here now let's add one oval shape in the center go to insert shape select the oval shape hold the shift key so that you get the perfect oval shape and just place it here shape outline you can give some dark color and increase the width go to line and you can increase the width you can see here how much width you want and here shape fill i'm going to select some picture here so just click on the picture or texture fill and click on insert and select a good image uh, from your pc or if it is not that you can just download from unsplash.com so i have added this particular image and then you just scroll it down and remove this rotate with shape and then you can just increase or decrease the height width left right so you can see here whichever way you want you can just do it something like this so do something like this and then if you want to add some more shapes let me just go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size let me just zoom out something like this i'm going to add to a kind of a crescent shape here 
and shape fill i can make it uh, somewhat transparent and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and you can see here i'm just going to increase the size of this blue one or let me just give some different color you can identify so whatever the blue which is visible only that i'm going to keep and make sure that the blue size is uh, lesser than the uh, the red one okay so i'm going to select the blue hold the shift key and select the red under format merge shape and again subtract so you end up getting a shape something like this and increase the transparency level and whichever color you feel better you can just simply add this and send this to back and if you want to add one more color press ctrl d to duplicate and you can give some red color combination or whichever and again send this to back so it looks something like this and the last thing if you want to keep this as a white background you can keep it or you can give some pattern fill also here select the pattern fill i can just select any pattern here you can see here and the foreground color i'm going to give some light gray color so it looks something like this you can see here and the last thing is you can add the text go to insert text box the main title your main title here so it will be look something like this and make it the same color and I'm going to use the font which is Century Gothic or any other font of your choice. You can add it there. And then if you want, press Ctrl D to duplicate. And I'm just talking about, for example, say this is uh, Q1 Financial Year 20. You can see something like this. Also, you can add it here at this side and make a white font. So it is clearly visible. And if you want to add some more shapes, also go to insert shapes, select the oval, draw the oval, shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. Maybe you can give the red color and increase the transparency. You can see here, make it very light and then you can add one here, send this to back, press control D, add one more, select here, send this to back or whichever way you want, whichever place you want, you can just simply add it here.